29, verses 21 to 29. Wait, say that one more time. Ezekiel chapter 39, verses 21 through 29. Okay, what about it? And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed in my hand that I have laid upon them. So the house of Yashrael shall know that I am Yahuwah their Elohim from that day forward. And the heathen shall know that the house of Yashrael went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them, and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword, according to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them, and hid my face from them. Therefore thus says Yahuwah Elohim, now will I bring again the captivity of Yaakov and have mercy upon the whole house of Yashrael and will be jealous for my holy name. After that, they have borne their shame and all their trespasses, whereby they have trespassed against me. And when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid, when I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' land, and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Then shall they know that I am Yahuwah the Elohim, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land, and have left none of them any more. Neither will I hide my face any more from them. For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Yisrael, saith Yahuwah Elohim. Now, what did I get from that? When we start at verse 21. And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed in my hand that I have and my hand that I have laid upon them. And I'll read verse 22. So that the house of Yisrael shall know that I am Yahuwah the Elohim from that day forward. And the heathen shall know that the house of Yisrael went into captivity for their iniquity. And I'm thinking to myself, which people upon this earth went into captivity for their iniquity. Which people went into captivity, period? Whether it's in this dispensation or or this generation or generations before, I only know one group of people who went into captivity for their sins. And then it says, because... Also, real quickly, it also reveals that the world don't know who Israel is. Right. They think that the people over there are the Israelites. Well, if, if, if the people over there were the Israelites, then we would have to go down to uh, verse 26. After they have borne their shame and all their trespasses, where they have trespassed. Right. Before, wait, I'm sorry. Real quickly. Mm -hmm. I just want to stress one more again, though, that the whole dynamic is that whoever the people think are Israelites now, the world that proves that they are just just without you even reading that. Right. Just from that, it shows you that it's only at the time of the end where they finally learn who the real Israelites are. Right. So those so who the world think it, it is can't be. Can't be that. That's, by yeah, that, that that's yeah, the, by default. Yeah. Right, by default, right. That, you don't even you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. Right. But at the end, so you won't know until the end. Right. So if they're saying they're it, the Genesis then Revelation say they call themselves Jews and uh, right that are not our liars. So right. We know that that part of Revelation is real. Correct. That's right. Absolutely. But 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 the ones who understand Scripture mm -hmm. and have the Spirit of the Most High to discern Scriptures line upon line, yes. we know who Israelites are. Right. But the ones that the world just casually believe are the true Israelites, they yeah. no right? They have no idea, right? We really are just hidden ones. Right. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, we're okay. Yeah. That's what it says in uh, Psalms eighty-three, mm -hmm. and I think it says in another place too about his hidden ones. Yeah, his but you're absolutely correct, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, we're waking up. But we definitely are, are hidden. Mm -hmm. in, in actuality, 
And I know that the curses were bad and what happened to us was bad. Going into captivity was bad. But for the generations that are now, it's actually for our good that we're here right now. In a sense that I think if they really knew who we were, they would have wiped us out day one. You know what? That's weird that you would say that because I believe that that a lot of the systematic oppression that we went through were based from the ones who know who we are. Well, I think the fathers, yeah, I think the the forefathers of, even the founding fathers of this country probably knew. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I know England does. Right. I think England does to this very day. Right. Yeah. I think the the people in America are so far removed. At some point, I believe that they were trying to distance themselves from England so much that a lot of them may have forgotten. The forefathers didn't, but going down the generations, I think those ones that are upper echelon, they, of course, I, I believe they know. But, you know, some people are on the level that, you know, we may know. They, they don't know who they right, are. exactly. The common people, yeah, right. Common people. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let, let's break down. Let's go back to uh, Ezekiel 39. We'll just start at verse 23 now, just for the breakdown. And the heathen shall know that the house of Yashorel went into captivity for their iniquity because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. Now, this verse 23 says, And the, and the heathen shall know that the house of Yashorel went into captivity for their iniquity. So you were right. The heathen did know, you know, at that time when they were coming over to not just Africa, because they got us from, they took us from, kicked us out. They drove us out of Israel, went into, went into uh, Africa, the, you know, the continent, and we lived among them and they knew who we were too. That's exactly why they got us out of Africa. Okay. They left some of us there. But for the most part, well, yeah, Joel, Joel, the third chapter says that what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon and all the coast of Palestine? When you render me a recompense, and if you do, I will speedily and swiftly return your recompense on your head because you have taken unto your whatever my goodly and treasured things and the children of Jerusalem and Judah, you have sold them to the Grecians that you might remove them far from their border. So the Europeans at that time didn't know. Right, they they didn't just know. thought we were just whoever, but the, but the, 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 Confederacy. Yeah, the Confederacy. Right. They, they knew. knew. Right. They knew. Right. And when I say Confederacy, I'm talking about the Confederacy of Psalms 83. Right. That's who Tyree Zidon and so all the coast of Palestine did. Right. So when you see the movie, uh, was that the the queen, the king, the what's that movie with uh, what's her name, Viola Davis in it? The oh, movie, the, the woman, woman king. king, right? Yeah, that that was a clear example, right, of them knowing who we were, and going to gather us and put yeah. us in chains and sell yeah. us to the to the to the Grecians. And you know what was deep about the woman king through the through the study of the homie and that. Is that that was when we came into the knowledge of Negro Land, right? You know, a few years before that, but right. for for a long time, when we read the definition of um, Ham is all of the right. African people except for the Negro, well, and that's in Zonder Van Bible right. Dictionary. So for those of you who need to know, that's in the right. He clearly said that Ham was the father to the Negro. To the dark skinned races, but not the Negro. Right. He made that very clear to say that he he was not, they're not the same people. Right. But it's just interesting that when we read that, we thought Negroes was just a term right. that was used, right. but not an actual land yeah. in Africa right. that it was referring to that we were clearly taken out yeah. of. All the old maps, when you go back to the maps of 1600s, even some of the 1700s, right. it might not be in English because a lot of the maps at that time, because of the Japhetic people, they were Grecians. They spoke, you know, Greek, Latin. Right. 
So a lot of those maps are in that language, mm-hmm. but the, the word Negro is a Latin word. I mean, it's, right. so it said Negro land or mm-hmm. Negroid mm-hmm. land or whatever the map said, but it was on there. Right. But they quickly changed that, boy. Woo. Right. They took that out that we, our, your father didn't know about it. My father didn't oh. know about it. A oh. whole centuries of people did, did not, not know. know. The, the map used to right. Say that. Negro land. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. And they left all the little other places on there, uh, you know, uh, Uida, uh, which is uh, right, the know, kingdom of Yahuda, Yahuda right, uh, Judah, you know, right. Uh-huh. Differently, I think those are Latin terms. Uh, you know, shout out to my old school, St. Franciscan Academy, now um, CBA, Citrus Road. I was a very good school. We had to take Latin to learn the past. So when I see a lot of that stuff, I'm thankful that I had to take that to mm-hmm. pass because then I know, I'm like, oh, that's a Latin word. You know, what I, mean? I can see, oh, that's yeah. That's Italian right mm-hmm. there. I, I, I'm thankful to, to know that. Right. Because it's, uh, they hid a lot of stuff for So when you say the hidden ones, it is absolutely hidden. Right. They took it off. Right. So that you would not know who you were, That's where right. you came from. That's right. Erased off from the traces of history. Yeah. Just so that, and, and if you read Psalm 83, which I think we should actually read Psalm 83. Really? Only because of the fact that we're talking about the map. And the hidden ones, you you know from that they hid it so that the name of Israel would be no more. Right. Or Yashrael. Yashrael would uh-huh. be no more. Right. And right. It, it wasn't. Right. For a very long time. Right. It, just, it, it was no more. Yeah. And it's just now coming back to right. the surface. Right. And the reality of, our, of us, our really mentality... It's that that we didn't even exist until we got off the slave ships. Because right. Right. behind us, what did exist behind us, they erased it. They erased it immediately. When right. got off those ships, let's change this map real quick. Right. So they fell in line with right. the Confederate. Yeah. And when you look at Negro on the land, that's a big part of northern, it's northwestern Africa. Yeah. So... To just remove that, that's sinister. Yeah, it was, it was a huge. I, I, it, it shocked me when I first saw the map, and it was like from that that big top part, you know, where the like the like the fist, right? That big top part, all said Negro man, right? And I saw that, right? Like, oh my goodness! And you know, you know what Negro means. Um, I, I used, I, I know it, people say it means dark, but I know it doesn't mean dark, right? It means stranger. Right, right, right. That's, That's right. That's right. It means stranger. Yeah. Absolutely. But they tell you now that Negro in the Latin means dark, but originally it did not mean Right, that. right. And so with But they, it's just referred to the darker skin right. people now. Right, exactly. Because technically, Morena was more of a dark, of, of a, a dark people. Right. Because you, you know, you hit, you hit, for those of you who heard some Boricua, Morena. Right. They say Morena. You'd be like, well, what happened to Negro? Right. Because in some Latin countries, yeah. that's not what that right. means. Right. <laughs> and you know, the funny thing is that understanding that Negro means stranger, that means that that was a place that we gathered in in Africa right. where we were strangers. We were the whole region was named after strangers to that land. Right. right. And we had a, we populated a good part. So, yeah, I mean, people think about that. You, you think, okay, well, you know, we had that part of Africa. You don't understand. Africa is a continent. It's not a country. Right. It is a continent. So you can put three Americas, almost three Americas. No, it is three Americas. Yeah, you put three right. Americas in Africa. Right. We had one America. <laughs> like one of the Americas was maybe even a half of the other one right. was ours. Right. You see, that's interesting that you would even say that because when you think about America and you think about 48 states, mm-hmm. but when we see the continent of Africa, 
it looks like states. It does look like states. But they're countries, they're countries yeah. and they're really bigger than states because right. there are three Americas that could fit the continent of Africa. Right. So they're bigger. Right. right. And not only that, so if you got fifty, no, forty eight states in continental America, mm -hmm. and then you have I think how many countries do they say? Oh, I think it's fifty it's, it's fifty something, but yeah. it's fifty something, fifty I think it's like fifty two. Right. That just shows you how much bigger right. those countries are mm -hmm. compared to states in, in America. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. Right? Well, anyway, we were in the middle of 23, right? Because they trespassed against me, uh, verse 23, because in the middle, because they trespassed against me, therefore hid out my face from them and gave them into the hand of the enemy. So fell they all by the sword. Now, those people that don't know Deuteronomy 28 chapter, which is the last chapter of the what we call the book of Shemaiah, the mm -hmm. book of Moses, when he's about to die and pass on and Israel is about to go into the promised land, he gives them this divine prophecies because mm -hmm. some people don't even realize that Shemaiah was a prophet, right. yeah. but he gives these divine prophecies before we enter to our land. And then it, and uh, specifically Deuteronomy 28, it gives us these curses, right? Now, not even have to break the curses down. Forget about breaking the curses down, okay? But just in what you just read, the only way that we as a people still live in the conditions still are second and third class, fourth class citizens, mm -hmm. if you could use the term citizens, mm -hmm. and every place that we have been scattered, mm -hmm. it's because what he just said right there, he hid his face from us. Right. It ain't hard to see. If you live collectively in a community and the whole dynamic of moving on up is moving on out, meaning away from your own people right. because of the conditions of your own people. Right. And at, just in America, in every city in America, yeah. is synonymous. Yeah. I don't know the people in Watts in California or Compton or whatever. I don't know the people. I don't know the people in North Philly. I don't know the people in Bankhead. Mm -hmm. Why we live in the same exact, yeah. you know, that, that that if you don't want to live there because man look the father to hear this for you say that is a joke yeah. Yeah. but the bible isn't a joke because he just said that you know hear this face from only on, on them conditions can only exist because the most high right. hadn't hear his face from right. a people because you, you think and, and it's weird because i was just watching an interview with a former rapper um, but he said the one thing that we all had in common, whatever state he went to, was we all had poverty in common. And I was like, wow, right. that's so true. We have poverty in common, right. no matter where we are. And you, and, the, and then we get into these situations, it's like, well, if, if you know, where is God and all this? And we right. have a church on every corner. And, you know, why isn't God doing this? Why? Because he hid his face from us right. because, of our, because of our forefathers. Right. And because of our current sin now. Right. You know, I'm like, right. you know, because, but he gave us a stipulation of how to get back in line. Right. And, and the ironic thing getting that is that we're in 2023 right now, 2023. And because we reject knowledge, mm -hmm. we reject knowledge on a whole lot of things. Yeah. As, I want you to explain to me this. How is this possible? How is it possible that you all are collectively, we all are collectively poor, mm -hmm. downtrodden, mm -hmm. but we are responsible for the prosperity of all those that hate us. Yes. We are yeah. responsible for somebody else. Yeah. Even, even they talk about the growth national, whatever, yeah. of, of where we as stand nation, as a people, right? Oh, it's number three now. We were number three. I don't know where we yeah. are now. But... Well, the fact that we're in the top 10 is right? amazing. Right, that's amazing. Top five. Look. Right, it's amazing. <laughs> it's, just, it's amazing. Right, we're, that's, it is amazing. Because it don't reflect it. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we want to blame a system mm -hmm. 
for our conditions, but it ain't never been about a system. It's been about us from the very beginning. Yeah, because we have a trillion, over a trillion dollars in spending power. Right, which right. Is our nation. Right. Wherever we are, as right. poor as we are. Right, exactly. Everywhere we go, exactly. we have a spending power exactly. of a trillion dollars. So that sound to me like the people are for a prey. Yeah, we're for a prey. As the scripture Senate, says, we we're for a prey. Right, Isaiah 42, I believe. Mm -hmm. For a prey and none oh, delivers. So, man, it's, uh, but we still trying to figure out who the real Israelites are. Sound to me like if you're looking for the poorest people. Hey, but just, and then that's, a, that's what we're reading right now. So he said he done hid his face from us. Yep. And he done hid his face from us all the way up until this specific time right. when he brings us back. Right. And that's the thing. See, as a people, we don't want to think that God is not with us. Right. We have the most churches per capita yeah. among everywhere we are. And the Father ain't in none of those no. churches. No. But our beliefs is what strengthens the dynamic of the quote unquote black church. Yeah. But the truth is, he's not there. He's not. He's not there. Yeah. But um, we can tell everybody else how to worship their God, though. But we don't know how to worship our own. Right, right. Yes, or better yet, we can worship their idols. Their, yeah, their idols. Yeah. Better. It's very clear. Yeah. Better than, than they, they do. Right, right. We go above and beyond. Right. Boy, they. They, they church don't even get started good unless we walk through the door. Right. We're like, y'all, we don't start. The party don't start. Right. Right. So we walk. Right. In. But as the Israelites, though, that was one of the main things that we did historically. Yeah. We went above and beyond and yeah. worshiping their idols. Yeah. And that's what got us in the situation that's why we're that we're in. The right. 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 Yeah. And we mm -hmm. remain there. Uh, it's just, it's real sad, but. Verse 24, according to their uncleanness, according to their transgressions, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Verse 25, therefore, thus says Yahuwah Elohim, I will bring again their captivity, I bring again the captivity of Yaakov and have mercy upon the whole house of Yashrael. So when he says, I will bring again the captivity of Yaakov, what he means by that is I'm going to collect them again and have mercy upon the whole house mm -hmm. and will be jealous for his name for his holy name like no nah, this is my people my name i'm up to show them right what time it is mm -hmm. and the heathen gonna know too right <laughs> so, and that and that's the way joel third chapter again when i shall bring again the captivity of judah and jerusalem i will gather all nations right. And bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And yeah, that Joel third is a compliment to what you just right. read there. Uh huh. And this is after that they have borne their shame and their trespasses, where, 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 um, sorry, whereby they have trespassed against me when they have dealt safely, when they have dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid. And that's how he's going to have us again. You know, we were in our land safely, we weren't afraid. But this time we're. Instead of wanting to be like the heathen that were among mm -hmm. us or that were around us, you know, though that that covenant is going to be in us. That covenant. Is gonna uh be in us. you 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 right. So that, I was going to address that at the very end, but you got to it first. No, but that's good. <laughs> so 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 expound on that. What you just read again? Well, because he said uh, after they have borne their shame and their trespasses, where they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid, that's how it's going to be when he collects us again. Right. It's going to be like that. When right. We're safe. We feel safe uh -huh. with him. You know, he's with us. Like, none can make us afraid. Right. You know, that whole thing that we say in the, in the black church, you know, and, you know, what door he opens, nobody can close. Or if he's yeah, all them sounding good. All the little sound yeah. bites, that's sound when it bites, really yeah. comes. That's uh -huh. when the sound bites really uh -huh. come alive. But right now, they just sound bites right now. Right. So we start doing what right. we say. Right. Mm -hmm. They just sound bites. And let's go to verse 27. When I have brought them again from the people. See, there it is. When he has brought us from our enemies. Land, right. And gathered them out of their enemies' land. Oh, he just said it. 
and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. In the sight of many nations. Many nations. Uh-huh. You got to let them all know, not just That's us. Right. That's right. That's right. It won't be just a few of us sneaking in under the right. trying to get citizenship as doing all that stuff over right. there among the heathen. That's that. right. Uh-uh. And, they, and another thing is, is that um, this is how you know that there's no rapture. See, because in order to collect us, you have to be here. Mm-hmm. You, you can't be raptured up somewhere. Or out. You got to be here. Yeah, he ain't said he's taking nobody to heaven. Yeah. You got to be right here. He's going to gather you from the enemy's land and bring you mm-hmm. to yours in front of all the nations. Right. You know, and, and it's interesting because Zechariah in Luke, the first chapter, he calls that salvation. Ooh, when I have saved them, that's that's sal- that's that's the salvation you don't hear about in the, in churches. Right. But if there's any people that need to be saved, man, come on. Then shall they know that I am Yahuwah, their Elohim. Oh, then shall they know. Not any time. Well, so, some of us are waking up because we're, some of us are. The right, the elect are the waking elect, up. Yeah. But, but, but as it says in Romans as 11, whole, but the rest were blinded. blinded. So, the rest ain't calling on Yahuwah. Nope. They calling on some man-made idol. Yes. That they tried to substitute right. for Yahshua, the Messiah. Right. Ain't that something? But right. they're, they're not one and the same. No. Two entirely different entities. Right. So then shall they know. Then. So whoever they calling on right now, it ain't of Yah. Right. So whatever mm. name we got, no matter if it start with a J or a B. Or right. Whatever, <laughs> right. Or whatever other name right. we got. It, right. It ain't the, it ain't the one. Right. Because then shall you know. Then shall they know, right? That I am Yahuwah. That I am Yahuwah. Which Hallelujah. Which caused them to be led into captivity. Which caused them to be led into captivity. The the the, the 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 white man didn't cause that to happen. Right, and that's another thing we do. We we do like to blame, um, you know, the powers that be, or you know, mostly you know Gentiles, and it's like right. it's not their fault. Right. It's not their fault. They just took advantage of a situation. Right. They, they, as a matter of fact, Romans 11 chapter is clear when it says the, uh, and I'm paraphrasing, about the riches of the Gentiles is based off of our fall. Our fall. Ain't that something? Yeah. Without our fall, they wouldn't even have they what they have rich. right now. Yeah, right. right. Uh, in politics, they got a little saying that says, uh, never let a disaster uh, go to waste. Go to waste, right. Never let a good disaster go to waste, something and, like that, right. Know, and, and it's like, that's exactly what they did. Right. They took advantage of this disaster that, uh-huh. we, that our ancestors created. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, wait a minute. They're they all going to turn their face from us? Right. Because uh, believe me, those heathen knew what went down in Egypt. It was okay. written. Egypt mm-hmm. wrote it down. Right. It was written in other right. books. So it was like they knew. All right, be careful now. We in Florida, and you're dealing with some critical race theory I right know. there, Doc. You better hope the neighbors don't hear you. But it's the truth. I can't, I can't, I can't hide the truth now. <laughs> but I have gathered them. Wait a minute, let's go back to the top of 28. Then shall they know that I am Yahuwah the Elohim, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them anymore there. Neither will I hide my face anymore from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house. Well, have they what? I have. Wait a minute, say that which part? Me no, too. what you say, Brad? For I have poured out my spirit upon the house. See, that's where I was going with that. Yeah. What's that? That's verse 29. But what is that? That's the new covenant. That's the new covenant. Yeah. You got a whole bunch of people, even Israel, talking about they under the new covenant. Oh, How can you be under the new covenant? It don't it, it don't even exist. Right. We ain't at the end yet. Right. That's not coming to the Right, end. right. So when you said it earlier, I'm like, oh man, you jumped. To uh, to where I was going with yeah, that. That's what I'm talking about. My spirit of right. The well, the first part about is being, like you say, being gathered. Right, being gathered. You ain't in no new covenant being in America. Right. Or, or you got to uh, uh, co-sign <coughs> another religion and join that religion in order to be over there. That's not, that's not, that's not true. Right. That's not, a, that's not a covenant. Right. 
Right. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, all the yeah. The covenant is he's going to gather us. Yeah. And the new covenant is something that will change the whole world. Yeah. Yeah. Not all this false hypocrisy religion that we're dealing with today and we get filled with some kind of spirit. I'm like, oh, I'm in a new covenant. No, yeah. you're not in the new covenant. No. Sorry. Bust that bubble, but go ahead. Yeah, but um, that's it, really. Neither uh-huh. will I hide my face anymore from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, said Yahuwah. Hallelujah. 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 Man, I hope somebody got something out of that. But um, again, that war that's going on right now and people looking over there talking about, oh, we got to love Israel and defend Israel, whatever, that ain't Israel. It's not. Not and it's funny that this war is even opening people's eyes to that too. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of people I've, I've heard about saying, "Wait a minute, those are Ke- Kazar, and they know where Kazar fall in the chart of the three suns." The table of nations, right? Right. Or, and, or, 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 or Ashkenaz, right? Uh huh. This show ain't with Shem. Right. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, that was a good lesson. I appreciate that. All right, those of you who uh on hey shalom and don't forget to like share oh absolutely all that the spirit of y'all get down